My dear friends, let us begin by understanding what we mean by discipline. Discipline, in the context of our discussion, is not about harsh restrictions or punitive measures. It is not about forcing yourself to do things you dislike or denying yourself pleasure. No. The discipline we speak of is a loving, conscious commitment to aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your highest vision for yourself and your life. Discipline is the bridge between your current reality and the reality you desire to create. It is the daily practice of choosing your state of consciousness, of assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled, of living from the end. It is the consistent application of the law of assumption in every aspect of your life. Now you might wonder, why must I discipline myself every day? Can't I just visualize my desire once and be done with it? My dear friends, understand this. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner state of consciousness. And this state of consciousness is not something you set once and forget. It is something you cultivate and maintain through constant, loving discipline. Think of your consciousness as a garden. You don't plant seeds once and expect a bountiful harvest without further effort. You must tend to your garden daily. You must water it, weed it, nurture it. In the same way, you must tend to your consciousness daily. Weeding out thoughts and feelings that don't serve your desired reality. Nurturing the states of mind that align with your wishes fulfilled. His daily discipline is not a burden, but a privilege. It is your opportunity to exercise your divine creative power to shape your reality according to your will. It is your chance to play in the fields of infinite possibility, to mold the substance of the universe with your imagination. Remember, my dear friends, that you are not separate from the creative power of the universe. You are that power individualized. The same force that creates worlds and galaxies flows through you, expressing itself as your life. When you discipline yourself daily to align with your desired reality, you are allowing this infinite creative power to flow through you obstructed. Now, let us consider what this daily discipline looks like in practice. It begins the moment you wake up. In those first moments of consciousness, you have a choice. Will you immediately react to the appearance of your current reality? Or will you consciously choose to assume the state of your wish fulfilled? I urge you to make it a discipline to start your day in the state of your wish fulfilled. Before you open your eyes, before you engage with the outer world, take a few moments to feel the reality of your desire. Feel the joy, the gratitude, the satisfaction of having what you want. Let this feeling permeate your entire being. As you go about your day, maintain this discipline of consciousness. When challenges arise, and they will do not react from your current state. Instead, ask yourself, how would I respond to this situation if my desire were already fulfilled? Then from that state of consciousness, choose your response. This discipline extends to your thoughts and inner conversations. Be vigilant about the thoughts you entertain and the inner dialogue you engage in. Are they aligned with your desired reality? If not, Lovingly redirect your mind to thoughts and conversations that support your wish fulfilled. Remember, my dear friends, that your inner conversations are incredibly powerful. They are the blueprints from which your reality is built. Making it a daily discipline to consciously choose your inner conversations, to speak to yourself and about yourself as if your desire were already a fact in the outer world. Now, let us delve deeper into why this daily discipline is so crucial. You see, your subconscious mind, which is the creative power within you, does not distinguish between what you imagine vividly and what you experience in the outer world. It accepts as true whatever you impress upon it. With feeling and persistence, by disciplining yourself daily to live from the end, to feel and act as if your desire is already fulfilled, you are impressing this reality upon your subconscious mind. You are programming it to create the conditions and circumstances that match your assumed state. This programming is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. Your subconscious mind is constantly being influenced by your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. If you discipline yourself to maintain the state of your wish fulfilled for a day, 
but then spend the next week reacting to your current reality. You're sending mixed signals to your subconscious. This is why daily discipline is so important. It ensures that you're consistently impressing the reality of your desire upon your subconscious mind. It's like tuning a radio to a specific frequency and holding it there. If you keep changing the frequency, you'll never get a clear signal. But if you discipline yourself to stay tuned to the frequency of your desire, the signal becomes stronger and clearer with each passing day. Now I want to address a concern that may arise in your minds. You might worry that this daily discipline will be difficult or tedious. You might fear that you'll grow tired of maintaining your assumed state day after day. My dear friend, one to speak of, is not a chore or a burden. It is a joyous exercise of your creative power. It is an opportunity to play in the realm of pure potential to shape your reality according to your will. When you truly grasp this, maintaining your discipline becomes a delightful game. Moreover, as you practice this discipline daily, it becomes easier and more natural. Just as a musician becomes more proficient with daily practice, you become more adept at maintaining your desired state of consciousness with consistent discipline. What may seem challenging at first soon becomes second nature. Remember, too, that this discipline is not about perfection. There will be days when you falter, when you find yourself reacting to your current reality rather than living from the end. When this happens, do not judge or condemn yourself. Simply notice what's happening. Gently redirect your attention to your desired state and continue with your discipline. This brings us to another crucial aspect of daily discipline. Self-observation, make it a practice to observe your thoughts, feelings, and reactions throughout the day. Become aware of the states of consciousness you're occupying. Are they aligned with your desire? If not, lovingly guide yourself back to your assumed state. This self-observation is not about criticism or judgment. It's about developing a keen awareness of your inner world. It's about becoming conscious of the creative power of your consciousness and learning to direct it deliberately. As you practice this daily discipline of self-observation and conscious assumption, you'll begin to notice profound changes in your life. You'll find that your outer world starts to conform to your inner assumptions. Events and circumstances will align to support your assumed reality. People will respond to you differently, reflecting back to you the state you've assumed. Moreover, you'll discover a newfound sense of peace and confidence. When you know that you are the operant power in your life, when you understand that your consciousness creates your reality, you no longer feel at the mercy of external circumstances. You become the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. Now let's consider how this daily discipline applies to specific areas of your life. In your relationships, discipline yourself to see others as you wish them to be, not as they currently appear to be. If you desire a loving, harmonious relationship, discipline yourself to feel and act as if that were already your reality, regardless of the current circumstances. In your career or business, maintain the discipline of assuming the state of success and abundance. Feel the satisfaction of achieving your goals, the joy of financial prosperity. Live from that state in your thoughts, feelings, and actions. In matters of health, discipline yourself to assume the state of perfect well-being. Feel the vitality and energy of a healthy body. See yourself engaging in activities that a healthy person would enjoy. Maintain this state regardless of any current physical symptoms or medical diagnosis. Remember, my dear friends, that your outer world must conform to your inner assumptions. By disciplining yourself to maintain these desired states day after day, you are creating the blueprint from which your new reality will emerge. Now I want to address another aspect of daily discipline, the discipline of faith. Faith in this context is not blind belief or wishful thinking. It is the unwavering conviction that what you have assumed in your imagination must objectify in your outer world. Discipline yourself daily to maintain this faith. When doubts arise, and they will do not fight them or try to suppress them, instead gently but firmly redirect your attention to the truth of your assumption. 
Remember that your imagination creates reality. And what you have imagined with feeling must come to pass. This discipline of faith extends to your perception of time. In the world of imagination, where all creation takes place, there is no time. Your desire is already fulfilled. Discipline yourself to know this truth, to feel its reality even as you patiently allow it to unfold in the world of Caesar. Remember, the time it takes for your desire to manifest in the outer world is not up to you. Your job is simply to maintain the faith that it is done, to live from the end, and to allow the infinite intelligence of the universe to bring about its manifestation in the most perfect way. Now let us consider the discipline of gratitude. Make it a daily practice to feel profound gratitude for your desire fulfilled. Feel the joy and appreciation of having what you want, even before it appears in your outer world. This gratitude is not about being thankful for what you hope to receive in the future. It's about being genuinely grateful for what you know is already yours in the realm of imagination. This discipline of gratitude is incredibly powerful. It aligns your emotional state with that of your wish fulfilled. It impresses upon your subconscious mind the reality of your desire. And it opens you to receive the good that is already yours. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your senses. Your senses are constantly feeding information to your subconscious mind about your current reality. If you allow this sensory information to contradict your assumed state, you create inner conflict and delay your manifestation. Therefore, discipline yourself to see here and feel your world as if your desire were already fulfilled. When your eyes show you a reality that doesn't match your assumption, gently remind yourself that your senses show you the world that was not the world that is coming into being based on your new assumption. This doesn't mean denying or ignoring your current reality. It means giving priority to your imaginal reality, knowing that it is the true substance from which your outer world is formed. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of persistence. Manifesting your desires is not always an instantaneous process. Sometimes it requires patience and unwavering persistence. Make it your daily discipline to persist in your assumption. Regardless of any apparent delays or setbacks. Remember the story of the Chinese bamboo tree. For five years after planting, nothing appears above the ground. But during those five years, an extensive root system is developing beneath the surface. Then, in the fifth year, the tree suddenly shoots up, growing as much as 90 feet in just six weeks. Your manifestation may follow a similar pattern. For a time, you may see no outer evidence of change. But if you persist in your daily discipline, if you continue to live from the end day after day, you are developing a powerful inner system that will eventually burst forth into your outer reality. This brings us to another crucial aspect of daily discipline. Detachment. While you must be clear about your desire and firm in your assumption, you must also cultivate a state of detachment from the outcome. This may seem paradoxical, but it is essential for successful manifestation. Detachment doesn't mean not caring about your desire. It means trusting so completely in the creative power of your imagination that you don't feel the need to manipulate or control the outer world. You know that what you have assumed must come to pass. So you can relax and allow it to unfold naturally. Make it your daily discipline to cultivate this state of relaxed detachment. Feel the peace and confidence that comes from knowing your desire is already yours in imagination and therefore must manifest in your outer world. Now let us consider the discipline of revision. At the end of each day, take time to review the events of your day. If anything occurred that doesn't align with your desired reality, revise it in your imagination. See it happening in a way that supports your assumption. This discipline of revision is not about denying what happened or living in a fantasy world. It's about exercising your creative power to reshape your experience. Remember the past only exists in your memory. By revising it, you are literally changing your past and consequently altering the trajectory of your future. Another important aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your attention. Your attention is a powerful creative force. Whatever you consistently give your attention to, you energize and magnify in your experience. Therefore, discipline yourself to focus your attention on what you want 
not on what you don't want. When you catch your attention wandering to unwanted circumstances or possibilities gently, but firmly bring it back to your desired state. This discipline of attention extends to your consumption of information. Be mindful of what you read, watch, and listen to. Does it support your assumed state? Does it align with your desired reality? If not, have the discipline to redirect your attention to information and experiences that do. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of embodiment. It's not enough to simply think about your desire or visualize it occasionally. You must embody it. You must live as if it were already your reality. Make it your daily discipline to embody the person who has what you desire. How would you walk, talk, and carry yourself if your desire were already fulfilled? How would you interact with others? What decisions would you make? Discipline yourself to embody this version of yourself in every moment. This embodiment is not about pretending or putting on an act. It's about aligning your entire being, your thoughts, feelings, and actions with the reality of your desire. It's about becoming, in consciousness, the person who has what you want. Remember, my dear friends, that creation is finished. All possible states exist now. Your job is not to create your desire, but to select and embody the state where your desire is already fulfilled. Now let us consider the discipline of letting go. This may seem contradictory to what we've discussed about persistence, but it's actually complementary. While you must persist in your assumption, you must also let go of any attachment to how or when your desire will manifest. Make it your daily discipline to surrender the how and when to the infinite intelligence of the universe. Your job is to assume the state of the wish fulfilled. The universe will take care of the details of its manifestation. This letting go requires trust. Trust in the creative power of your imagination. Trust in the law of assumption. Trust in the perfect unfolding of your manifestation. Cultivate this trust as part of your daily discipline. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your emotional state. Your emotions are incredibly powerful creative forces. They give life and feeling to your thoughts and assumptions, impressing them more deeply on your subconscious mind. Therefore, discipline yourself to maintain an emotional state that aligns with your desire fulfilled. Feel the joy, the excitement, the gratitude of having what you want. Let these emotions permeate your being throughout the day. This doesn't mean suppressing or denying other emotions when they arise. It means consciously choosing to pivot back to the emotional state of your wish fulfilled, no matter what your current circumstances might be. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of your self-concept. Your self-concept, the beliefs and assumptions you hold about yourself, is the foundation of all your manifestations. No desire can manifest in your reality if it contradicts your fundamental beliefs about who you are. Make it your daily discipline to cultivate a self-concept that aligns with your desires. See yourself as worthy, as capable, as deserving of all that you desire. Assume the identity of the person who naturally has and experiences what you want. This discipline of your self-concept is ongoing. It requires constant vigilance and loving correction of any self-limiting beliefs or negative self-talk. But as you persist in this discipline, you'll find that your entire life begins to transform aligning with your new, empowered self-concept. Another important aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your word. The words you speak, both to yourself and to others, are powerful creative forces. They are declarations to the universe about what you believe and expect. Discipline yourself to speak only words that align with your desired reality. Eliminate phrases like, I can't. It's impossible or I'm not good enough from your vocabulary. Replace them with empowering statements that reflect your assumed state. Remember, my dear friends, that your word is your wand. It has the power to shape your reality. Use it wisely and deliberately as part of your daily discipline. Now let us consider the discipline of mental diet. Just as you are mindful of what you eat to maintain physical health, be mindful of the thoughts you consume and entertain. Make it your daily discipline to feed your mind with thoughts that support your desired reality. This mental diet includes the books you read, 
the conversations you engage in, the programs you watch, and the inner dialogue you allow. Consistently choose mental nourishment that aligns with and supports your assumed state. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your imagination. Your imagination is the most powerful creative force in the universe. It is, in fact, God in action within you. Make it your daily practice to use your imagination deliberately and consciously. Discipline yourself to imagine scenes that imply the fulfillment of your desire. Make these imaginal acts as vivid and real as possible. Engage all your senses. Feel the reality of your desire fulfilled. Remember, these imaginal acts are not mere fantasies or daydreams. They are the substance from which your outer reality is formed. By disciplining yourself to engage in these imaginal acts daily, you are literally creating your future. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of forgiveness. Unforgiveness, resentment, and blame are heavy burdens that anchor you to unwanted realities. They prevent you from fully embodying the state of your wish fulfilled. Therefore, make forgiveness a part of your daily discipline. Forgive yourself for past mistakes and perceived failures. Forgive others for any perceived wrongs. Remember, forgiveness is not about condoning harmful actions. It's about freeing yourself from the emotional attachments that bind you to unwanted states. As you practice this discipline of forgiveness, you'll find yourself more able to maintain the state of your wish fulfilled. You'll move through your day with greater lightness and ease unencumbered by the weight of past grievances. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your reactions. Life will present you with various situations and circumstances, some of which may seem to contradict your desired reality. Your job is to discipline your reactions to these events. Instead of reacting from your current state or from habit, pause and ask yourself, how would I react to this if my desire were already fulfilled? Then consciously choose your reaction from that state of consciousness. This discipline of your reactions is powerful. It allows you to maintain your assumed state, even in the face of seeming contradictions. It demonstrates your faith in the reality of your desire and impresses that reality more deeply on your subconscious mind. Now let us consider the discipline of silence. In our noisy, busy world, silence is often undervalued. Yet it is in silence that we can most clearly hear the voice of our intuition, the whispers of our higher self. Make it a part of your daily discipline to spend time in silence. This doesn't have to be formal meditation, though that can be beneficial. It can be as simple as taking a few moments throughout your day to quiet your mind and connect with your inner being. In these moments of silence, affirm the reality of your desire. Feel its truth. Let the peace and certainty of your wish fulfilled permeate your being. Another important aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your environment. Your physical environment has a powerful influence on your state of consciousness. It can either support or hinder your assumed state. Therefore, discipline yourself to create and maintain an environment that aligns with your desire fulfilled. This might involve decluttering, rearranging furniture, or adding elements that reflect your new reality. This discipline of your environment extends beyond your physical space. It includes the people you surround yourself with, the media you consume, and the activities you engage in. Consistently choose environments and influences that support your assumed state. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of detachment from unwanted states. Throughout your day, you may find yourself slipping into states of consciousness that don't align with your desire. When this happens, don't fight or resist these states. Simply notice them and gently detach yourself from them. Remember, you are not your thoughts or your emotions. You are the awareness that observes them. Make it your daily discipline to maintain this awareness, to be the observer of your inner states rather than identifying with them. This discipline of detachment allows you to more easily pivot back to your desired state when you notice yourself slipping into unwanted states. It gives you the freedom to choose your state of consciousness rather than being at the mercy of habitual thoughts and emotions. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your energy. Your energy, physical, mental, and emotional, is a powerful creative force. 
It influences your state of consciousness and consequently your manifestations. Make it your daily practice to manage and direct your energy consciously. This includes taking care of your physical health through proper nutrition, exercise. It also involves managing your mental and emotional energy through practices like meditation, positive self-talk, and engaging in activities that uplift and inspire you. By disciplining yourself to maintain high positive energy, you make it easier to sustain the state of your wish fulfilled. You become more resilient in the face of challenges and more magnetic to the experiences and opportunities that align with your desire. Now let's consider the discipline of letting go of the old. As you embrace your new reality and consciousness, you must be willing to let go of the old, old beliefs, old habits, old ways of being that no longer serve your assumed state. This letting go is not always easy. We often cling to the familiar even when it doesn't serve us. But remember, you cannot step into a new reality while clinging tightly to the old. Make it your daily discipline to release anything that doesn't align with your desire fulfilled. This might involve letting go of relationships that no longer resonate with your new state. Releasing limiting beliefs about what's possible for you or abandoning habits that contradict your assumed reality. As you practice this discipline of letting go, you create space for your new reality to fully manifest. Another important aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your expectations. Your expectations shape your experiences. What you expect, you tend to experience. Therefore, discipline yourself to expect the best, to anticipate the manifestation of your desire. This doesn't mean naively ignoring challenges or difficulties. It means maintaining an underlying expectation that everything is working out for your highest good, that your desire is manifesting in the most perfect way. Make it your daily practice to expect miracles, to anticipate wonderful surprises, to look for evidence of your desire manifesting. This expectant attitude aligns you with the frequency of your desire and accelerates its manifestation. Now, my dear friends, I want to address the discipline of self-love. Self-love is not narcissism or selfishness. It is the recognition of your inherent worth and divinity. It is the foundation upon which all your manifestations are built. Make it your daily discipline to cultivate genuine love and appreciation for yourself. Celebrate your uniqueness. Acknowledge your strengths. Be kind and compassionate with yourself, especially when you falter in your discipline. Remember, you are God individualized, expressing itself as you, as you discipline yourself to embody this truth, to truly love and appreciate yourself, you align with the creative power of the universe. You become a clearer channel for the manifestation of your desires. Another crucial aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your focus. In any given moment, there are countless things you could focus on. Your job is to consistently choose to focus on what supports your assumed state. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or challenges when they arise. It means addressing them from the state of your wish fulfilled. It means maintaining an underlying focus on your desired reality, even as you navigate the day-to-day -day aspects of your current reality. Make it your daily practice to consciously direct your focus. When you notice your attention wandering to unwanted circumstances or possibilities, Gently but firmly bring it back to your assumed state. Remember, where focus goes, energy flows. By disciplining your focus, you direct the creative energy of the universe towards the manifestation of your desire. Now let's consider the discipline of surrender. This might seem contradictory to the idea of consciously creating your reality, but it's actually an essential part of the process. Surrender in this context means releasing your attachment to how and when your desire will manifest. Make it your daily practice to surrender the details of your manifestation to the infinite intelligence of the universe. Your job is to assume the state of the wish fulfilled. The universe will take care of the how and when. This discipline of surrender requires deep trust. Trust in the creative power of your imagination, Trust in the law of assumption. Trust in the perfect unfolding of your manifestation. Cultivate this trust as part of your daily discipline. Another important aspect of daily discipline is the discipline of your inner conversations. 
The conversations you have with yourself in the privacy of your own mind are incredibly powerful. They shape your beliefs, influence your emotions, and ultimately create your reality. Discipline yourself to engage in inner conversations that support your assumed state. Speak to yourself as you would if your desire were already fulfilled. Encourage yourself. Affirm your worthiness. Celebrate your successes even before they manifest in the outer world. Remember, these inner conversations are not mere positive thinking. They are creative forces that shape your reality. By disciplining your inner conversations, you are literally talking your desired reality into existence. Now, my dear friends, as we near the end of our discussion, I want to emphasize the importance of consistency in your daily discipline. Manifesting your desires is not about occasional bursts of effort or sporadic visualization. It's about consistently aligning your entire being, your thoughts, feelings, words, and actions, with the reality of your desire. This consistency is what impresses your desire upon your subconscious mind with enough depth and intensity to bring it into manifestation. It's what keeps you tuned to the frequency of your desire allowing you to receive the inspiration, opportunities, and synchronicities that will bring it into your experience. Remember, the subconscious mind does not distinguish between what is vividly imagined and what is experienced in the outer world. By consistently disciplining yourself to live from the end, to embody the state of your wish fulfilled, you are training your subconscious mind to accept this new reality as truth. And when your subconscious mind accepts something as true, it must express itself in your outer world. This is the law of your being. It is how creation works. So, my dear friends, I urge you to embrace this daily discipline with joy and enthusiasm. See it not as a chore or a burden, but as a thrilling exercise of your creative power. See it as your opportunity to play in the field of infinite possibilities, to shape your reality according to your will. Remember, you are not separate from the creative power of the universe. You are that power individualized. When you discipline yourself to align with the state of your wish fulfilled, you are allowing this infinite creative power to flow through you unobstructed. As you practice this daily discipline, you will begin to experience profound changes in your life. You will find yourself moving through your days with greater peace and confidence. You will become more resilient in the face of challenges. You will notice increasing evidence of your desire manifesting in your outer world. But perhaps most importantly, you'll experience a deep sense of fulfillment and joy. For in aligning yourself with the state of your wish fulfilled, you are aligning yourself with your true nature as a divine creative being. You are fulfilling your purpose as an individualized expression of God. So my dear friends, go forth and practice this daily discipline. Live from the end. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Embody the person who has what you desire. Do this consistently, persistently, with faith and with joy. And notice this. As you discipline yourself in this way, you are not working against the grain of the universe. You are aligning yourself with the very essence of creation. You are fulfilling the purpose which you were created to experience and express the infinite creative power of God, individualized as you. Remember, creation is finished. All possible states exist now. Your daily discipline is simply your way of selecting and embodying the state where your desires is already fulfilled. It is your way of claiming the reality that is already yours in the realm of infinite possibility. So discipline yourself every day, my dear friend. Do it with love. Do it with joy. Do it with the unwavering faith that what you have assumed in your imagination must and will objectify in your outer world. For this is the law of your being, the truth of your existence as a divine creative being. And as you do this, watch in wonder as your world transforms before your eyes. Watch as your desires manifest with a naturalness and ease that might seem miraculous to others, but which you will recognize as the simple, beautiful operation of the law of assumption. For you will have discovered the secret of creation. You will have embraced your true identity as the operant power in your life. You will have become a conscious creator, shaping your reality according to your will through the power of your disciplined imagination. This, my dear friends, is your birthright. This is your destiny. This is the truth of who you are and what you're capable of. 
So go forth and discipline yourself every day. Embrace your divine creative power. Live from the end. And watch as miracles unfold in your life. Remember, you are the architect of your reality. You are the author of your life story. Through your daily discipline, you are writing a beautiful, fulfilling, miraculous story. So make it a story worth telling. Make it a story that inspires and uplifts. Make it a story that reflects the infinite potential within you. Thank you, my dear friends, for your attention and your willingness to embrace this powerful truth. May your daily discipline bring you joy, fulfillment, and the manifestation of your heart's deepest desires. God bless you all.